welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do a quick update on what we've been reading for the month of July. I have only just managed to get around to doing this video so I thought this will be basically what we have read rather than what we were planning to read. So um, yeah I'm just going to turn the camera around and it's a bit noisy in here because the little kids are playing in the background so we'll see how this goes. I was just about to drop some of the books off um, back at the library so I thought I'd better quickly do this um, update and fill you in on what we've read. So here we go. Okay guys, so this is what we've been reading for the month of July. So I finally ordered this one. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in another video, but it is a beautiful story, um, a collection of short stories actually. And um, it's a book of virtues, so character building if you're wanting to do that kind of thing. Um, this is a really beautiful collection of stories. So we've read um, maybe about a third of the way through of this one. And the kids um, have been asking for me to read it. So, But I'm not rushing through this one because we own it. So I'm just going to read a few stories and, um, you know, each month kind of thing. And it is beautiful. So, yeah, highly recommend it, that one. The next one. This is, we've just started this one and this is what we will read for our poetry tea time or just whenever we want to do a bit of poetry and I managed to get this one secondhand actually through a friend and we are not a Waldorf um, homeschooling family but I love a lot of what they do so this was, I was excited to get this one and the poems in it are absolutely beautiful. We read quite a few this morning and it's really nice so... So, um, yeah, lot, lots to do with the seasons and animals, fairies, whimsical poems, and they are absolutely beautiful. So that's the other one we've started this month. Then this one, which we managed to finish the whole thing this month, and it is absolutely beautiful. We are not Buddhists or anything, but um, it doesn't matter. They are t tales of, basically tales of love and wisdom for you to read with your child to enchant, enlighten and inspire us and it's exactly that. So at the end, sorry about the noise, uh, at the end of every short story there is a quote to go along with it and it talks a little bit about the virtues to do with that story. So it might be um, trust, it might be honesty, it might be hard work, it might be you know different, different character traits. Guys, guys. Nice and quiet. Um, different character traits to do with the story. So it is great. And it's a great one for conversation to do with um, with building character in your kids. So that's fantastic. The other couple of short stories we have been doing. We did Bears in the Night and the Old Spooky Tree. My kids absolutely love these two, the Berenstain Bears. We also did this one, which is a Mem Fox. And it's lovely, whoever you are. And we also did Queen Victoria's Underpants. Just give me one second, darling. Um, which is a great one and it talks, it's actually a sort of historical uh, non-fiction, I guess you could say. Um, but it talks about some of the, the fact that they didn't wear, about that time period where they didn't actually wear underpants until this Queen Victoria who requested them. And so it's quite funny and it talks about that time period. So that was quite funny. Uh, and then the other thing that I just wanted to quickly talk about, which we borrowed from the library. Guys, you're being really noisy. Can you just be quiet for two seconds? Shh, shh, um, Are these wonderful, horrible histories? My kids are devouring these. My two oldest boys, who are nearly 11 and, and 9. And um, they, we've borrowed all of these ones from the library. And I really highly recommend them. It's a great way to... Um, if you're a homeschooler, you probably already know, or if you, you know, if you've got kids of that age, you probably already know about these ones. But my kids are loving them, and so we hired lots of them from the library, and they are just reading them, uh, reading through them. And this one here, which maybe for slightly older, because that one can be a bit um, gory, the deadly days of history, but it opens lots of discussions about. That, those different time periods in history and facts about those time periods and that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's the other thing that the boys have been reading through. So that is basically it for this month so far. We've got another week to go, so we've almost finished all of these, so we will probably read something else in the next week, but I just thought I'd update you on what we've been reading. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.